Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and before I go on with the festivities, I went back to uh, this place and found out that, like, I left them with just enough money to ha to fight their own battles. And, like, if they had fought one more battle, they wouldn't have run out of money. And I don't know what happens if they run out of money. I honestly have no idea if it has effect at all. No FAQ that I found even mentioned that. So I gave them a whole bunch of money. However, that money all went to waste because it was unnecessary. Because later on I'm going to be fighting the final battle. But, um... The main reason I'm even show- I almost didn't show this. And I I'm just cutting the crap out of it to only show, like, more important parts, like there's all my units. There's a new weapon that shoots three rocks, and I kind of wanted to show that. But, uh, doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, so what I wanted to do was I made a massive army, and I had them plow down to the bottom. Because I know that if you get to the bottom, you plug up troops, they can't spawn. And if you put them in the middle, they plug up two lanes. However, uh, my guys weren't nearly fast enough, and they just they just came out the damn sides. But I was able to deal with them by putting, like, ridiculously large amounts of weapons, like, way more than I needed. To more or less take care of the guys on the side. And my troops did get to the bottom, and they plugged up the center. So then I just sent a few guys to, uh, to the side. And... There is go. And then I forgot that I wasn't supposed to talk during this recording, because I wasn't gonna mute it. And I had to yell something in my excitement. Punch them in the neck! Yeah, that wasn't post-commentary. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I eventually did plug it up so they couldn't come out of the bottom. And then I just killed the guys on the sides, and bam! We won. So, on to rewards and other stuff in the actual game, not in post-commentary. A Super Bowl! That's appropriate due to the closeness of the Super Bowl that's already happened by the time that this video is released. Hooray! What does the Super Bowl do? Super Bowl. Uh, mind. Oh, that is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I was just looking at her weapons and I was all like, she needs weapons that aren't dumb. Because she's had the same one for a really long time. Oh, that's incredibly stupid. Well, screw it. I don't want your Super Bowl with your no materia slots. Whatever. I still completed this. Meh. You got enough money? You got, you got money? Take some money. You take more money. You need more money. Eat. That's 2,000, so... There, it's enough for seven attacks. That should be enough for the rest of the game. In fact, it's probably way more than I needed. Whatever. Bloop. Alright, I think we're ready to rock this now. I actually, part of me wanted to look around the world because... But I just, uh I don't have time to waste. But, like, if you go to most of the different towns, a lot of them mention that there's a giant comet in the sky. So there's a lot of different dialogue. Hoy! Ain't you a beaut? This is me, Del. It's a quiet hot spring town. Just the perfect place for old folks like us to live out our lives. I hear that things ain't so peaceful on the outside, but here it's still nice and quiet. That's good, I guess. Totally care. Nyeh. What is going on here? Do 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 Say, you can talk to me. So that overgrown moon is gonna fall on us, huh? This ain't no joke. We gotta start stocking up on supplies before they're all gone. Hey, move out of the way! Move it, move it! Yes, apocalypse means you need to stock up on supplies. Oh, is this a hotel? Oh, what are you- <laughs> Shut your face, I wasn't even reading that. Uh, you just have the standard crap, huh? Yeah, well, I only guess about three of these to be even. I have a lot of money, even though I used a bunch of it on that last thing. But it doesn't matter. I ain't just throw money at problems at this point. That's how rich I am. More money, less problems. Okay. Uh, you don't actually have anything good. So open for weapons or materia or flying B guns. Actually, that qualifies a weapon, wouldn't it? You, give me weapons. I have a much better chance of getting a weapon from you, because you're talking about weapons and armor, and there's a gigantic sword above- Shut up! Shut up! You've already sold me! Shut it! 
God damn it! Oh my god, I hate you. Always with this chocobo music. You gonna sell me weapons? I'm tired of people just not selling me weapons. Crystal sword, can't use it. Holy crap, that's a huge increase. Oh my god. Oh, uh, oh uh, no. Alright, well you're definitely getting this, because Yuffie has had three materia slots in that weapon for too long. A crystal megaphone. Why is it that I come to a weapon shop and they actually have crystal megaphones? Is that actually like, is there a class of warriors that uses these? They, oh, Vincent Root could really use this, but I'm probably not going to use Vincent for a while, so whatever. Crystal bangles, wizard bracelets, what do you got? Oh, it's a lot of materia slots. Eh, there is a decent amount of things to sell, actually. I made quite a bit of money. I should be able to afford anything that I want here. So, uh, crystal... Didn't I just see a crystal glove, though? Did I already buy that? I don't want to buy two of them. I mean, I'm made of money, but that doesn't mean I can just throw it out of the window. I didn't buy it. Well, but even... Wow. Also, that's just... I have. I just have that equipped for the extra materia slots, I think. But this... That's cool. Yay! Whatever. Everyone's equipped magically. Look. Oh, yeah, it's a miracle, right? I am way too tired to do this right now. And things are about to happen, so I'm going to just at a later date where I'm not falling asleep. I don't even know why I thought I could do this. I, You know why? Because I, I was going to start like two hours ago and then I got distracted by the new JonTron video. Uh, whatever. Okay, this should be much better. I don't... I... That was just dumb for me to try to record, but I kept on wanting to do it, and then I got pushed back more and more, and then eventually it was just really early in the morning. And I was like, oh... <laughs> There's some games I could play when I'm that tired. This is not one of them. Not when I need to do actual reading. Eh, eh. Reading is harder than playing video games for me, which is kind of sad. What's the matter? Are you all alone? You got lost, didn't you? Separated from someone you love? Poor thing. I guess he's been out for a week now, since he washed up on the shore. Poor, pokey-headed young thing. It was really sad, but weird. He was holding this really long sword. I don't know, the whole thing just feels unlucky to me. But the amazing thing were those weird blue eyes. What? What? Wait a minute! What did you just say? Excuse me, that person you were just talking about. Yeah, a villager found him a little ways down the coast. I think it was about a week ago. Poor thing. He must have drifted from someplace pretty far away. Cloud! It must be! It's Cloud! Over here. Bingo! So where is he? Is he safe? Where is he now? Yes, uh, up ahead there, at the, uh, clinic. He's alive. Cloud. Cloud's alive! Cloud! Holt! H hey! Holt? That was a little bit harsh, what are you, a guard red? Jeez. Cloud? Hey, you barged in here like a meteor crashing down or something. I'm sorry, but I heard a friend of mine was here. A friend? Oh, that young fellow. Don't worry, he's next door. But his condition isn't good. Here? Over here. Cloud? Oh, Cloud. I'm so glad you're safe. Cloud? Uh, uh, uh. What's wrong? Cloud? Uh, uh, uh. Cloud! What happened to you? Mako poisoning. A quite advanced case. It appears this young man has been exposed to high levels of Mako energy for an extended period of time. He probably has no idea who or where he is now. Poor fellow. 
He can't even speak. He's literally miles away from us. Some place far away where no one's ever been. All alone. Doctor! How terrible. You lying or what? Cloud. Yeah. Uh, let us excuse ourselves. Listen. Would you all mind waiting outside? No one ever gets creeped out about the fact that Taz is just walking around. And we saw before, it's not like people just know that those creatures exist, because the first time we saw it, we're like, what the hell, he can talk? He's pretty much an endangered species. In fact, he might be the last of his kind. Why? What do you want me to do? Please, Cloud. Talk to me? Tell me you can see me, that you can hear me. Tell me. Please? I made it this far believing in the memories we shared. This isn't happening! It's too cruel! Oh, Cloud, I... Tell me, Doctor. Is Cloud alright? I mean, will he heal? I'll say it again. He's got Mako poisoning. I've never seen a case this bad. An intense amount of Mako-drenched knowledge was infused into his brain. It's a miracle he survived. No normal human could have. No wonder. He fell into the life stream and washed up here. But remember, a light of hope can be found anywhere. If you give up hope, what will happen to him? Hmm. I know he'll recover. Cloud is a strong member of Soldier. Are you alright, Tifa? Yes. I'm sorry to worry you all. There's something I want to say to you. I don't care about anything else. Only Cloud. I want to be by his side. Yes, that's best. Then you gotta do it! You gotta be true to yourself! I'm sorry, everyone. Especially now. That's alright. We'll be by again. Look after Cloud, and take care, Tifa. Right. We should be getting back to the high wind. What are we gonna do now? What can we do? Huh? <laughs> Ain't nothing we can do? And don't go tell us to go and wait until Cloud gets better. No, I've got some news. Yeah, what? That you're a spy? Yeah, <laughs> I already told you I was. Both Gyahaha and Kyahaha are up to something. Wanna eavesdrop? Double agent! Now then, we're faced with two issues. One, destroy Meteor. Two, remove the barrier around North Cave and defeat Sethiroth. Any ideas? Yeah! <laughs> the first problem's already been solved! Meteor will soon be smashed into bits. The plan's already in motion. 
We are collecting huge materia from each region. What? Huge materia is a high-density special type of materia made through a special compression process in Mako reactors. The energy extracted from it is 330 times the strength of normal materia. <laughs> How about that? We will gather the huge materia together and ram it into Meteor. That will cause a huge explosion, reducing Meteor literally to bits. You're going to ram Meteor? Do you think we have the technology to do it? First things first. Right now, we've got to collect the huge materia from each area. We've already collected the materia from Nibelheim. All that's left is Coral and Fort Condor. We've already dispatched troops to Coral. <laughs> I love that he called them Gyahaha and Gyahaha. That's just great. Corral. What else can they do to Corral? The huge materia. You mean the huge materia, don't you? I've heard about it. When our small materia nears a larger one, there's some sort of reaction. I'm certain of it. That's why we're using Materia Power in our flight. We can't let Shinra get a hold of the huge Materia. Besides, when Cloud gets back, I want to show him this huge Materia. He's gonna be shocked. So, what are you saying, Barrett? Even though you're always knocking him, you really want Cloud to return. I ain't saying nothing about nothing, so just shut your face! Every group's gotta have a leader. And that's me. Or, at least I want it to be. But I ain't cut out to be no leader. I never knew that till lately. That's what it is. What? What's going on? You've been chosen to be the new leader. Pain in the ass. Forget it. But for us to fight, we gotta have the high wind. And you. We need to save the planet. And who's running the ship? You. That's why you're a new leader. Ain't no one else can do it. This ship's gonna save the planet, huh? Ain't that gonna get a little tough? Aw oh, man, stab me in the heart! I'm a man too! Okay, I'll do it! Everyone, follow me! Alright! Now here's our first job! The operation room is waiting for you! Yeah! <laughs> he runs like such a dork. Ha <laughs> I'm Sid Highwind! Yo, Sid! When you're ready, we're heading to the coral reactor. Come on, leader man, let's hurry! Sid? <laughs> I know you're all dying to talk to a babe like me, but just leave me alone. This ship makes me- <laughs> Why did you call me over then? Weirdo, I was just gonna walk right past you. Actually, I was gonna talk to her. It's always great talking to you, Fish. She's crazy. Uh, wait, are you gonna talk to me about Sid? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, are you gonna recount the story about how much you like Sid to Sid? So, yeah, I'm. In a way, I'm a little bit annoyed that, like, Barrett isn't chosen the leader. My theory, and I hope this is right, but it's pro. Oh. It's just kinda dumb to me, cause, like,. He was already the leader of a, like, terrorist cell. Uh, I don't know why, like, he doesn't really go over the reasons as to why he doesn't think he's a leader. It might be because he thinks he got, like, his crew killed, basically. 
It might be because he realizes how impulsive he actually is. I'm not entirely sure. But, um... My theory is that for the same reason that he was, like, sleeping on the floor, I don't think that they wanted you to be able to control a, such a big character model, except in certain areas. Like, there are, like, small areas. But I don't know if that's it. Like, you never get to control, um, any of these three characters, or Yuffie. I don't know. That might not have anything to do with it, but it's possible they just wanted you to only be able to control, like, a standard smaller size character model. Or they're just dicks, and they don't want Barry to be leader for no good reason. I mean, who the hell is Sid? He's already been with us. Anyway, I've told you many times about my compulsion to use, eh, like, characters evenly. Well, now that we've gotten rid of three characters, it's a lot more manageable. <laughs> Six is a lot less crazy. Of course, this is probably a temporary situation. Cloud is alive, after all. And Tifa's obviously alive, so... But I don't know, it's just easier for my brain when there's only six instead of nine characters. Also, here's the crazy thing, if you... It's possible not to find Vincent. In fact, I beat the game the first time without finding Vincent. And, um... It's just like... Then, then there'd be like... There'd only be four characters here. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy. Then you'd only be leaving one person out. Like, it actually gives you a lot more variety if you find Yuffie and Vincent. And Yuffie I just found by accident. So she's not hard to find. Yo, Lita man! Get your pilot ass up here! <laughs> Did Sid just give him the finger? It looked like it. <laughs> the huge materia is in Corel, Fort Condor, and... Ah, I'm sure there's another piece that had it. Where was that? Well, Fort Corral is the thing that I showed you at the beginning, the thing that I've been fighting for the entire time, so I'm good I protected that. I've been protecting that the whole game. Sid, let's visit Cloud and Tifa from time to time. I think I might pay a visit to them right now. Sid, I wish I had your go get em attitude. It appears my feelings vanished into thin air since my long slumber. That's okay, it just follows with your emo's mystique. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, look at that. He's level 6 now. I guess that means he's confident. I wonder what max level is. Let me just talk to Cloud real quick. And you can, in fact, talk to him. I'm bringing Barrett, even though I, I feel like I've used him because of that escape thing. But I'm bringing him specifically because Corral, I believe, is his hometown, unless I'm confused. I might be confused. I don't think I am, though. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Ooh, Crystal Bangle. Let's equip that on you. Uh, dragon amulet's better. Fire amulet, better than the crystal amulet. Protect vest. Who's got the... I need to put the ribbon on someone. The ribbon's amazing. Cloud, I don't understand a word. I'm such a fool. I thought I could do something to help. Just being with him probably helps. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, uh, what... What number am I? A billion mirror fragments, small light, taken angels singing voices, Xeno gears. That's the only reason I talked to him. I was I was practicing this section, and I was like, that is the most amazing Easter egg ever. Yeah, people probably know that I let's play the entire game Xeno gears, which was made by the same company that made this, uh, made around the same time that made this. Um. The real interesting thing is that this game came out before Xenogears in America, so that wouldn't have made sense to a lot of people. Um, but Broken Mirror is the theme song to Xenogears. Broken Mirror, a million shades of light. So, that entire thing is just a little Xenogears easter egg, and I love that. But anyway, enough foolishness. Um, <clears throat> since I have Barrett with me... now Alright, I could go to Fort Condor, or I could go to Corral. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people weren't that interested in the Corral minigame, so I'll try to speed it up a little bit or cut it down. But I think I kind of want to... I'm in the Cor Fort Condor. I kind of want to go to Fort Condor. I'm feeling... I'm feeling a hankering for that Fort Condor minigame. Also, I shouldn't have given them all that money. They didn't need it. <laughs> but whatever, it doesn't even matter. That's the price of, like, one weapon at this point. Now, where is it? Here. This is, uh... 
This is that. That's the chocobo place. And then you fly into the cave. And you come out this side. Here we go. I can land on... You can only land on green patches. I guess those are the most flat. And they conveniently made a little green patch here for you to go to. Now, on the off chance that I actually need to equip things for a battle... Let's do that. Okay, we're good. I even went back to that place where Cloud is to get him... This. Or get Barrett that... Alright. Let's see how this goes. Nee, 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 nee. I believe, like, this is the final battle in this part. I think if you fail it, uh, you can never even come back here because I believe Shinra just, like, kills everyone. I don't know, I read something about that. Like, this, you go back and the rope just disappears. Uh, but I'll be fine. There's no way I can lose with this amount of money. Unless they throw a curveball at me. Can I even do this at this point? I think I can. Let's see. Nyeh. You've come at a good time. Shinra's changing its strategy now. It seems that Shinra will destroy the reactor and then take the materia that's inside. Man, we walking on dangerous ground. We can't lose now. If we lose here, all the materia we gathered will be for nothing. Damn. I guess we have to protect this area, too. Hey, I've been protecting this area the whole game. That ain't no problem for me. But I am saving just in case. Because failure is not an option. And when you do fail, reverse time to get a different option. Just like in every video game. The thing is, like, if it... I can't... I can't lose. This, like... This mini game is too breakable. <laughs> and it's all based... Like, the fact that they base it on money that you actually have in-game is crazy to me. Because you basically... You just have infinite resources. You don't even need to be good. You can just keep on throwing money at the problem. The situation has changed. It looks like the enemy is set to attack. If we lose here, it's over. Our lives are in your hands. We're counting on you. Let's do it! This is a deciding battle. The enemy numbers are more than ever before. Let's give them all the gill we have! No. You actually gave me gill. Oh, that's the gill that I gave him before. He gave it back. That's cool. Huh. I don't know what the purpose of donating a lot of the time is. Alright. So what we're gonna do is put a fire catapult here and another fire catapult here and another fire catapult here. You might see a pattern at this point. I don't know. You might not. And transfer here. Now we're gonna do the same on the other side and in the center. So the tri- like, they can attack the fire catapult, and they will. The tristoner is basically to try to protect the fire catapults. And we got here, we want them all to go in the center path. Mir- Mir- This is probably overkill. <laughs> but I don't care, it's the final battle. I'll overkill anyone I want. Alright, now for the troops. I think I've maxed out my units. Alright, so this is all I can get right now, that's fine. Uh, let the show begin. So, yeah, I, you know, I've shown these in the past. I, I've greatly sped them up, but this is the last one I figure, you know. Spend a little more time explaining what I'm gonna do. Uh, so you wanna go over here. See, I, I probably went a little bit overboard on the fire catapults, because there is a, there is a unit cap. But anyone who steps here is screwed. They're just gonna get hit with like 120 points of damage, so... Alright, so we got two beasts here. We want attackers, then. Let's move an attacker here. And we've got barbarians, so we want a defender over here. How about we also send a defender over here? Uh, shooters down in the center. I would have loved another healer, but... And there's those guys that, like, that set up mines, like... Oof, I don't... I really don't care about them. <laughs> I'm gonna... I don't know how long this is gonna... Actually, let me think. I've already... I've already gone, like, 20 minutes into this. That's a problem. So I don't know if I can show Corral also, but... We'll see. We will see. That's re... Oh, that's gonna do so much damage. Oh, God. Wait, are you coming that... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. The fact that they're sending all the same units is actually pretty stupid of them, I gotta say. That means I'll be able to counter them really easily. Shooter in position, that guy's in position. No one's going up that path yet. 
Are they all coming to the center? You guys are idiots. It's just going to make it easier to kill you. All right. I think he's in range, so let's see what happens here. Uh, yep, 25. Is that two sets of 25 or just one set of 25? Yeah, it was just one set. So I might have screwed up then if that's the case. Encountered enemy. Maybe not. Yeah, he's, he's just getting destroyed. <laughs> let's do backup. He's starting to get hurt, so we're going to heal him with the repair. First enemy destroyed. Next. All right, there's a flyer coming up. Flyers are weak against shooters. See if we can shoot him. There. And they changed directions on me, so I don't have a defender here. But I'm just going to leave him there, whatever. That's doing area of effect. I can't believe they're all going to the center. I don't think that's supposed to happen. It's ridiculous. Uh, you are being useless, so how about you just shoot that guy? I don't know. He's dead. Move on in. Did I lose one of my... I think I lost one of my guys. Yep, that means I can replace him immediately. Which is, again, means this is ridiculous. And he's weak to the defenders, so he's gonna get torn up. They're all they're all just getting screwed by these fire catapults. They killed my other attacker, but it doesn't matter. Because boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Defender encountered an enemy, and it almost doesn't matter. Uh, heal him, he's a little bit damaged. My defender here is getting shot, but he's gonna just directly take care of that. Every one of the centers getting screwed. These guys aren't even reaching, like, they're they're getting heavily damaged before they're even getting up here, so that's good. Fire catapult! There we go. I'm starting to think double stacking them is not doing anything, because it's looking like they're only taking one set of damage each time, which is kind of not cool. Uh, you can move into support, please. So now they're actually heavily stacking up over here, but whatever. That defender's gonna go down, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, attack this Berserker if you can. I think he does 40 points of damage per hit to Berserkers. That Beast guy might screw with me first, though. Yeah, the Beast guy intercepted me before I could get to the one that I wanted to. But look at that! Did you just see that? This is... Oh, my God. All right, enough of this. I think, I think you get the idea. If the boss and if the enemy boss shows up, I'll show that. But otherwise, let's just rocket through this. Oh, that little attack didn't really work out for them, did it? They just, they just can't do anything. And the thing is, even if like I felt like I started to get overwhelmed, I wouldn't really be getting overwhelmed because I can just send like a hundred more guys. Look at this! Look at all this! Like, they can't stop me. <laughs> what I should do, though, is just, like, bum-rush them with a hundred guys. You can probably do it. <laughs> if I, like... Wait, is that the boss? Did I just see the boss? No. <laughs> well, alright, let's keep on going, then. But they're not gonna get past me. But uh, there he is. The boss has finally revealed himself. So if I just take the, this guy on the side, which might be hard because they're not strong against him, but... Uh... Uh, screw it! Surprise! Oh, well that was unnecessary. Whatever, just take out the guys in the center, come on. Uh, repairer, you might want to move a bag a little bit. You're kind of useless in a fight. No one's coming up the side. Shooters, come down to the center. And add even more guys. How about I just build a single... A single worker. To plant a single bomb. Just cuz. There we go. No, you need to get out of there now. I didn't mean for you to stay. Get out of there. Did that bomb just blow up already? Because that's kind of lame. Whatever. Uh, oh, he's going to wait. He's waiting. All right. Let's get rid of these. If I get rid of them here, I don't think I get refunded for them, but I'd, money doesn't matter right now. All right. The final push has begun here. Oh, he's dead. Shit. Uh, can we get an attacker to... Oh, never mind. I don't need one. Whatever. Attacker. You coming? 
He's gonna be coming soon. Alright, attacker. And whatever. It's bum rush time. Everyone, go down and kill this jerk. Yeah, he's taking 30s each hit. He's gone. Boss man, you're it. You're the only one left. Actually, you know what, shooters, you're a little bit too brazen. You do have long range. How about you just go in front of him and not actually directly at him? That's a better plan. I don't know what I was thinking. Sending them after. All right, those shooters are already stopped. Good. So send the attackers and the defender. Now, if I, you know, if I wanted to play it smart, it would, I would just lure him up to the fire traps. But screw it! Screw it all, bum rush! This is the last battle. We're not just going to wait around for him to come to us. Alright, we've encountered him. Boom! Oh my god, 60 damage. It's alright, all of those arrows are piercing him. He's just gonna get overwhelmed. Oh, and he took out the defender, but alas, it does not matter. For true victory has been achieved! I could have done that faster. I could have sent, like, a ton of troops and just gone to the center, but whatever. Yes! We did it! This is wonderful! Thank you! G ah! Okay, the condor appears to be moving. Oh my god, the egg is hatching. That light just now. The condor. The egg. What? Would you go outside and see what that was? Interesting. I have a theory about what just happened. Oh my god. I don't know if I want to get close to that. Is this Phoenix? It totally is. The old bird dies, a new one is born. Risen from the ashes. It wasn't a condor at all, was it? Excellent. That wasn't exactly a large materia, though, was it? Hmm. Gone. Be sure to report this to my father, too. Phoenix, uh, let's see what that does. I'm assuming it resurrects us and heals us. But I don't know for sure. Let's get rid of... Destruct? I don't even know why I equipped that, to be honest. Phoenix! Summons Phoenix. Well, that wasn't... <laughs> Somehow I was hoping for a description, but I guess they never give a description for some ridiculous reason. You can only get a description of it in battle if you hit more information while over the ability. Everyone, thanks. I really mean it. Thanks. Although there isn't anything I can give you, we'll make sure that you can stop by and stay anytime. Be sure to drop by. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's one more thing I forgot to tell you. Received huge item. Yeah, there's nothing I can give you except for this gigantic piece of materia. Huh? What's this? Damn, man! It's huge materia! I gotta have that materia! The truth is, this is the materia that was inside the reactor. What the hell did we fight for? We weren't protecting the reactor, we were protecting the condor. When the reactor was built, they forced us to help. That's how we knew what was inside the reactor. I knew this day would come, so after the Shinra left, I sneaked out and I took the materia. I didn't mean to fool you, but I guess that's how I ended up. I'm really sorry. Ah, oh, just forget about it. Anyway, we're still alive. I see. If you put it that way, we really are grateful. So I have acquired one of the pieces of gigantic materia. It is completely possible for you to not get that materia. And that will have some minor consequences later. And the other pieces of materia that you can get are also possible to fail. I think they're all possible to fail. But it's possible you won't get any damn materia. 
But it doesn't it doesn't matter as much as you'd think it should, to be honest. <laughs> you'd think it should matter a whole freaking lot, but it doesn't really. But yeah, that's it. This mini game is over finally. There's not actually really any point in ever coming back here. So let me just check items. Key items. Huge materia. Materia Materia you get at the Fort Condor reactor. I still have my wig and cotton, for God's sakes. Can I get rid of this? Can I get rid of the snowboard and the basement key? Whatever. <laughs> like diamonds, key items are forever. Even weird smelly man wigs. Okay. That might that might might have to be it, unfortunately. Ah. I didn't mean to come here. What are you doing, Sid? Where shall we go next? Shall we head to the Coral Reactor? Probably. Probably should do that. Yeah. Yeah! Whee! I didn't even mean to go back to the ship there. So I guess my character selection didn't even matter for that one, because I, you know, blah. Here's the thing, like, in RPGs when they have random characters have conversations, they never seem quite right. <laughs> Like, you notice each one was like, What is that? Materia? It's the big materia! I gotta get that materia! Like, it doesn't sound like a cohesive conversation between the characters. It sounds like they all had individual lines that had nothing to do with each other. That's because that that's the case. Uh, this is Corral, right? I think so. Well, let me check the time. And I'm sorry, I know, like... Ever since I came back from hiatus, I feel like the episodes of this have been... I mean, some of them have been interesting, but there are like two or three where nothing happens, and honestly, that's... I could have edited it to crap, but it's more of a failure of the game, to be honest. There's just... they have this really big moment with Eris. By the way, speaking of Eris, this is the uh, last save state that I have with her face. Oops. I feel like I'm not... I'm just not gonna delete it in her memory. <laughs> Because I'm weird like that. But, um, they have that big thing, and then they're like, alright, we have to pursue Sephiroth, and then you have to go through this really long, boring dungeon thing that took me like an hour or so to get through with mini games that you could fail and cause you to have to start over. And then they actually have some really good story part again, and now we're going out around on, like, um, you know, Materia fetch quests. But I'm hoping, since this is Barrett's town, I'm hoping that story happens here, but I don't actually remember. So, we'll see about that. Wait, am I wrong? Is this the right reactor? I don't know. Well, I think we'll see next time, and I'm sorry that not a tremendous... Well, I don't know. Some one very important thing happened. We found out the fate of Cloud. But beyond that... Sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. Alright, but yeah, next time, off to Corral. And I'll see you then. Later.